Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Exotic Astrology. Let me check the audio. All right. I had traveled recently from Germany to London and then to New Delhi to Guwahati. And many of you have been asking me regarding my uh, travel experience. What are the things which happened and what, how I proceeded and how crazy was the journey? Well, it was a very crazy journey. So uh, today is not an astrology video, but my experience uh, from this travel. So I had booked Lufthansa flight for 3rd October, which is Saturday. So Lufthansa flight was from Munich, Germany to New Delhi, India, 3rd October. Uh, and then I had my flight from New Delhi to Guwahati on 4th October, the next day, because Lufthansa was supposed to reach night 11.15 uh, p.m. Delhi. So uh, I had keep, kept the Guwahati flight next day at 9 a.m. So it was like almost uh, 11, 10, 10 hours gap. So that was my scheduled plan. And... As the material world is, you know, nothing goes as per your plan sometimes. So then what happened? Uh, this Air India and uh, this Lufthansa, they had some issues. Uh, and the German government, Indian government, and uh, they cancelled all the flights. And uh, then uh, I think on 29th September, they had sent me a message. 29th September. Either on 29th or 28th, I don't remember exactly. So it's like barely some days before travel. That uh, I had booked the ticket using makemytrip.com. So they said that uh, we, uh, we are very sorry that uh, this is cancelled. Uh, we are looking for alternatives. Uh, but uh, they did not arrange any alternative, unfortunately. Lufthansa also did not arrange anything. But then uh, on... on uh, First of October, uh, Make My Trip had called me and they said that uh, we are refunding you the entire amount. So my flight cost uh, from uh, the return trip journey, I had booked two way also. Uh, Germany to Delhi, Delhi to Germany back. So that two way trip was uh, 40,632 rupees, Indian rupees. So that will be how much? Maybe around um, 500 USD approx, around that amount. So that was two way, okay, not one way. Uh, and uh, that that money got refunded uh, to the to my bank account. And uh, then when I came to know about it, then I again booked uh, British Airways this time. So I'll tell you about the flight stuff first. Then I'll tell you about uh, the Corona stuff. <coughs> so the, then I had booked British Airways because British Airways, that flight uh, was going from London. So I had to go from Munich to London, then uh, London to Delhi, then again Delhi to Guwahati. So that was the way. And that flight I booked on 2nd October, 4th, 3rd October. So it was like, uh, less than 24 hours, uh, but it was still available. So I checked on Friday 2nd and it was available for tomorrow, Sunday, Saturday 3rd. So then I booked it. Because if I would have booked it later, then again I had to postpone my Guwahati ticket also. So that, that was the problem. Um, now, having said that, uh, this is the travel. Now, uh, the thing is about these formalities like Corona and all other stuff. So I'll try to give a brief overview and disclaimer, uh, all the things which I'm seeing here, you, you please cross check with your uh, respective airports and airlines and country. Three things, airport, airline and country. Okay. I'm repeating again, airport, yeah, airline and country. Very important because all of them have different rules. So if British Airways is flying to uh, Mumbai, there are different rules. Okay. If Lufthansa is flying to Mumbai, there are different rules. Okay. Now, there will be some rules which will be common for Mumbai, irrespective of the flight. And there will be some rules which will be common irrespective of the location for the flight. Okay. 
uh, but they're they're very much different actually. So please check uh, country wise, airline wise, and place wise also is different. Like for India, Mumbai, Delhi, Chennai, Hyderabad, they have all different rules. And if you have layovers, then also there are different rules. So please check the airport where you are landing. That's very important. Okay. So now, uh, what I had done was uh, my flight was on third. So on first October which was Thursday, uh, I had booked an appointment for the Corona test here in Germany. And that, that was booked, uh, let me see if I have that name. Anyways, so in Germany, we have this house arts, uh, which is like uh, family doctor, or not literally, but that's the meaning, you know, like a home doctor or something like that. So it's like a mini hospital where you can go and treat yourself. It's, it's the same actually, but it's like every uh, location has a house arts like that, you know, like place wise, zone wise, like that. So uh, I had booked the appointment for 1st October because uh, from the time you sit in the flight, it should be 72 hours before. So if you are sitting on 3rd, then you have to give the sample on 1st. Okay. Now some places it's written 96, some places there are it's written 72 so you have to really check uh, what's going on actually and remember that 72 hour is uh, including the day of the test not day of the result okay so in germany how it is is uh, that if you uh, like the state where i am in the city is ingolstadt and the name of the state is bavaria in german and uh, yeah sorry in english and then in bayern in german so in Bayern, uh, I guess in other states also, the Corona test is free actually. Okay, but uh, the thing is, if you go there, then they will take three to five days to give you the results. And once you cross 72 hours, that result is not valid anymore. So essentially, uh, you cannot take that free test. Okay, so then uh, generally, if it is a free test, which I had done three weeks back, that was like, okay, uh, you go and take an appointment like three, four days back and then you go there and then and they'll ask you, uh, okay, show your uh, ID card, passport or whatever. And then they'll tell you, open your mouth and then they'll put something and they'll uh, touch it and then put it inside uh, that sample. So yeah, for, in Germany, they had done inside my mouth, but in India and in Guwahati, they had done inside my nose. Okay, so it depends, I guess, uh, what kind of test and who is doing it. So uh, then if you do the free test, then they will take that sample and they will keep it with themselves. Okay, and then after three to five days, they will uh, give you the results. So for me, it took around three days, three weeks back when I had done the test. And that was absolutely free. But now what I did on first, I had the appointment and the appointment I had taken, I guess, um, somewhere around uh, Monday or so. So Monday I called the house arts and I said that I need an appointment for either Wednesday or Thursday. They said, we can't give you an appointment for Wednesday. We can give you an appointment for Thursday. So then I went on Thursday first and I, uh, the lady came, the doctor, she came and she did the same thing. Put, she put something inside my mouth and then she said this is your sample so then I said I need the result tomorrow so she said you have to go and give it to a laboratory and you have to pay 74 euros there so around 6500 rupees a box Indian currency so then uh, that day itself on first itself after taking the sample I had rushed to the laboratory and unfortunately the laboratory was closed because I reached at 12.15 and uh, they said we, uh, we, we are now closed. But then somehow my luck was good. Uh, and then there was one doctor uh, who went inside. So then I told him, could you please kindly give this also? It's very urgent. I have to go to India. So uh, then this doctor, he very kindly agreed. And he said that tomorrow morning, on second morning, 8 a.m., you can come and collect the results. So if you would have given the test to us, the sample to us today, before 12, you could have collected the results today evening. But because you have given after 12, so you can only collect it tomorrow morning 8 a.m. I said, that's perfectly fine. So then I uh, got this uh, result on second morning. Uh, it was negative, you see. Uh, and then I, uh, in British Airways for 
uh, you have to fill a form there okay and uh, you because i was going via delhi so there was an email address which was mentioned there and you can find it in the website you know corona information covid information they will find it so you had to fill up this form and in that you and that form excel uh, so, sorry the pdf you had to uh, scan and then send it to that address which was mentioned so for delhi there is a different email address for mumbai there is a different email address this is all for british airways i am saying okay so uh, that 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 i had done then now coming to new delhi india there are three forms which you have to fill two are like now uh, one is that uh, self registration form and the other one is exemption form quarantine exemption form so uh, if you have taken this corona test 72 hours before anywhere in the world provided it's authorized and you want exemption from quarantine now quarantine exemption can be in two cases if you have a transit flight to another city like for example i had to De to guwahati from delhi so then doesn't make sense to quarantine in delhi so in that case you have to fill it or even if you want to stay in delhi or you want to go to another state by car by bus train whatever uh, so that is the exemption form where you are not uh, like officially uh, under quarantine actually okay so in that what happens is when you fill that uh, so that that's like home quarantine if i if i'm correct like seven days home quarantine so in that what happens you have to upload your passport photo this is for the exemption form i am saying okay and that that you will find in air suvidha that that's there you can type air suvidha delhi airport you will get or you can type in google like this air suvidha delhi airport exemption form okay then you will get uh, get to fill the form so these all things i had done on second once i had my corona test negative so there in that exemption form you have to upload your passport the pdf and this corona certificate only then you are given exemption so once you upload then you have to keep waiting and then after 2 hours i guess they were pretty fast you know after 2 hours uh, they had sent me that your quarantine exemption request has been approved and they had sent me that pdf and i had to take a print out of it and i kept it with me two copies i had taken print out and then there is another form self reporting form which you have to fill uh, that form you can only fill once you get your seat number so if you pre book your seat number in the like for my case uh, london to uh, new delhi i didn't have the seat number so i had just filled the form and in case of seat number i had clear written and a not applicable or not available something like this but later on i came to know that you should only fill it once you have the seat number so that was a mistake from my side um i didn't know that but anyways that that was not a problem later on so uh, then you have these two forms quarantine exemption and self reporting now uh, when i went from munich to london there was no form nothing nothing was required uh, it was just my german blue card which is there because of my uh, employment uh, in media markt as a google cloud engineer so that's like the visa you could say a technical visa uh, which is there so by that i can i could enter uk without uh, any other hindrance uh, i did not require any other transit visa or any other assistance to enter uk and yeah so from munich uh, it was like a normal thing you know so they directed my luggage to delhi directly so i didn't have to collect my luggage in london so then i went to london and then what happened where before entering the uk there is one form which you have to fill that you will find in uh, you can type you know um, it it was also like this you know like uh, self reporting form uk for international passengers so in that you have to fill from where are you coming where are you going and all this stuff you know have you taken corona test or not so that file you will finally get a soft copy in your mobile you have to keep that in case somebody asks and this is for uk specific you know this is nothing to do with india or where you are going or where are you coming from wherever you are coming from either you go somewhere or you stay in uk you must fill that form so uh, once that's done then uh, they asked me that do you have all this uh, self reporting form and all this from india then i said yes i have all the documents in the corona certificate this is in munich and uh, then this uh, person gave me the boarding pass for london to munich and uh, 
uh, sorry, Munich to London and uh, London to Delhi, or both both of them, and said you collect luggage directly in Delhi. And then I went, and there was this uh, police control, and everything was there. I sat in the flight, and everything was just perfect. Then I landed in UK, uh, London, and then I boarded the flight. And when you board the London Delhi flight, then they will ask you this form. Uh, self reporting and quarantine exemption and there is another form uh, which they only gave us that time which where we feel you know, um, that also you will find somewhere online but i guess if you don't have the other form that that third form is generic for any place in india actually so that that form you have to fill but if you don't have that third form i also didn't have so i went and told them before the boarding started that is that I have these two forms, self-reporting and exemption form. Anything else is required or not? If they say yes, this form is required. Oh, I remember that was like some health declaration form, I think. In that you have to write, have you taken COVID test and all this? You know? So they gave me one uh, sheet and I had filled it there and then I gave it to them. So then all the three forms, one, one copy, I gave it to them. And that's it. And they said, you can uh, fly to Delhi now. So then when I... Uh, boarded my flight then I reached Delhi and uh, yeah the flight was also okay British Airways and we have to wear this one thing which you wear here it's very suffocating but what to do <laughs> along with the mask of course mask is mandatory and then I reached and then uh, what happened after then yeah and there was no uh, the catering was also very weird I mean there's like some like generally, if you fly in international flights for long, then they give you, you know, nice meal. But uh, they said the catering and all is not working, you know. So it's like uh, just uh, some food. So I would suggest if you have a six-hour, eight-hour flight, please carry some solid food items from your home. Like if you're Indian, then maybe you know some roti, sabji, or some rice, some pulao biryani, something like this. You can carry or some burger or something, you know, although not recommended, but at least for one day, it's fine. And uh, yeah, liquids, preferably not, it's not allowed, I think, or above 100 ml, it's not allowed. So then when I reached Delhi, then they said that give us this self-reporting and quarantine exemption and that other form, which uh, the third form, health declaration. And then again, I handed over the second copy of these three forms to Delhi. And then here they had uh, put a seal. Oops, some interruption again. So here in the left hand, they had put a seal here in New Delhi that you are exempt from quarantine. Okay. So here they had put the seal like this. I think they will do the same for you also. So this was there. And then I waited for around four hours, five hours, six hours. Yeah. And then around 7 a.m. on 4th October, I went for the, uh, because I had booked Vistara flight from Delhi to Guwahati and I already had the boarding pass before. It's like web, web check-in I had done. And then I had given the luggage there. So then I boarded the Guwahati flight and there was no formality, nothing. And uh, then when I reached Guwahati, uh, then I did not have to give any form, but Guwahati, they took me to this, uh, uh, National Games Stadium, where they had this, you know, Corona test centers. So uh, there I had gone and uh, done this rapid test and the the general one, which takes three to five days. And uh, in the rapid test results came within half an hour and it was negative. And the other one, which takes time, that there are two options. If it's if you want it for free, then Three, three to five days is required and till that time either you are in home or in hotel you have to be under quarantine for those three to five days but I paid 2200 and I opted for the 24 hours uh, result so then uh, on Sunday I had done the test on fifth Monday morning I got the results that yes you are negative and then I informed my hotel here uh, Gateway Grandeur where I am staying and then they said okay and in uh, they, they had uh, also stamped here, you know, like uh, here that uh, quarantine till fifth. That was written actually. And uh, after this, then uh, I informed the hotel, and they said, "Yes, now you are officially exempt from quarantine. You can go wherever you want. You can do whatever you want, with precautions, of course." All right. 
So now the last uh, thing which I would like to say is in Delhi airport also you can do this uh, uh, the corona test there, but that is not required. Uh, I think because I I didn't do that because I already had that certificate from Germany and I already had the exam form exemption accept. Request, that request was accepted and that's how I could board the flight so um, I don't think it's required that you do that test there okay ah, another interruption interruptions interruptions all right so where I was uh, yeah then I informed the hotel yeah regarding that test in Delhi it's not required I think uh, because why to unnecessarily pay 5000 again I mean if you already have the certificate then it's not required okay but you have to also check with them if they say that you know, your your next flight is next day and you have to stay in Delhi airport one day or you cannot go outside of course. But if you like want to stay there in the airport one day or maybe it's like the next day. But for me it was for me it was like technically the next day because I got this seal at eleven forty five p.m. on third October I guess. And my flight was after the next day, uh, 9 a.m. So it was like a halt of nine hours. But I guess uh, they did not, I mean, it's just nine hours, not a problem. Because anyways, I had to do the test in Guwahati. So there was no sense in doing another test in you know, Guwahati, in Delhi, of course, just for five, six hours. I mean, it doesn't matter. And yeah, in Guwahati, uh, things were mm, okay, I would say. A bit of mismanagement, but... Anyways, uh, it was good the way they had structured, uh, but anyways, I understand that's how the material world works. So, uh, big uh, applaud to all the government authorities who have done uh, so many proceedings, so many uh, uh, structured proceedings, I would say, and especially uh, my gratitude to the government of Assam who have organized uh, such a big center and they've done it quite well. And with some disappointments here, there, which is always there, I guess. So, uh, so my only piece of advice would be uh, carry your own food if you have like back-to-back -back transit flights, because uh, they will not give you uh, this normal food that whole meal which you can with which you can sustain for six hours at least. They they won't give you that. They'll give you some sandwich or everything is like uh, it's very ad hoc. It's not uh, the standard. And this is what they had informed me earlier that please carry your own meals. Okay. And water and drinks, no problem. Uh, you can ask them, they, they will give you most likely. Right. So this is my experience. And um, you can also mention your experience below if anything is there. So this is the chronology from Munich to London to Delhi to Guwahati. This is where. And so today I'm recording this. Today is 9th, Friday. And tomorrow I'll be going to my home to check how things are there, uh, my internet connection and all this. And But tomorrow I'll officially again come back here and I'll stay here. And on Sunday 11th, is it Sunday? Oh, yes, of course. Sunday 11th, I'll finally go back in the afternoon to home. And I will stay there till the time I am in India. All right, so... That's it from my side. Uh, no astrology today. Uh, tomorrow, some interesting topic will be back again. All right. Thank you very much for your patience. And uh, if you want a consultation from me, uh, physical, then I'm available in Guwahati. In, in case you are in Guwahati or somewhere in Assam and you are interested, then you can always come to my home and uh, or Skype consultations if you are outside as usual to my website. That's possible. All right. And if you're new to the channel, then please subscribe to it down below. All right. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you'll find him.